The world 20 years ago is not what it was. It, it is today. I mean, um, we can have this interview and it will stream live as we're having it and millions will watch it. That's the power of what technology has done over the last 10, 15 years. I can only think of what the next 20 years will be. Is it possible for me to be physically present? Not as a CGI, as a computer generated image in Berlin and still be in Ghana at the same time? Is technology going to be able to do time travel? That's one of the wild things I'm thinking about. But basically, our way of life is going to change. I mean, healthcare, education, security, legislation. I mean, every part, every facet of our life is changing with technology. And the next 20 years promises to be extreme. I mean, we're looking at uh, automated vehicles, the internet of things, AI, you walk into your home and with my phone I turn my lights on and when, I'm, when I forget to turn them off before I leave the house I can be in the office and, and control my lights back home. It's fantastic. I'm able to see what's going on in my house whilst I'm out of, out of the country. That's the power of technology. But with all of these innovations come dangers also. Because when that technology falls into the hands of the wrong person, I remain extremely vulnerable. So even though I'm excited about where technology is taking us, I am scared that if we do not have the right framework, people will, will be more vulnerable than they are today because your life is basically at the mercy of a touch of a button.